Hi friends, in today's lecture we are going to see how to create a target versus actual graph in Microsoft Excel. This is a very important graph type which is of great use in almost all the corporate industry where there is a target given to a sales individual. So I have over here some data in which I have the salesman name written over here and the target given to that salesman versus the actual achieved by the salesman. And the result of this is shown over here. So you can see the purple bars are representing the target which is achieved or what we call as the actual achieved by the salesman and the red bars are indicating the target given to the salesman. The achieved targets are shown inside the bars and the actual targets or the targets which are shown over here are shown on the right side of the red bar. So this adds to a very nice visual representation. So let us see how to create this kind of graph in Microsoft Excel. So what I'll do is I'll copy this data by pressing Ctrl C and come into a new sheet and paste the data over here. Now let us see how to create the graph. In order to create the graph, I highlight my data, then I click on insert and then I select graph. In graph, I select simple 2D column graph. Now here you can see the blue bars are representing the target and the red bars are indicating the actual achieved by the salesman. Now what I want is the blue bars, I want that they should be changed into a line graph. So I'll click on any of these blue bars. Then I would click on chart type, select change chart type and then over here where it is written as target, next to the drop down over here, I would select a line with markers and then I would click on OK. So now you can see the blue bars are shown with the aid of a line with markers. Now, I don't want the line, but I want only the markers to remain. So I right click on the line and I select Format Data Series. After selecting that and ensuring that my line is selected, I click on this Fill and Line option. And over here, I select No Line. So you can see the line has gone. But the markers are still there and they are shown in the form of a dot. A dot. So I don't want that they should be shown like a dot. I want that they should be shown as a rectangle. So I click on any of these markers. Then I click on fill and line. Then I click on marker. And next to that, I select Marker Options. In the Marker Options, I select Built-in. And in this type, I select the Line Type. Now, the dots have been converted into a Line Type. And I will just increase the size of the line by clicking on this up arrow over here and make it to a size which I prefer. After that, I would like to change the fill color. So I scroll down and change the fill color to a bright red. I scroll down and I want the border color also to become bright red. After that, I click on the bars representing the actual. And I want to change the color of these bars, the fill color of these bars. I want to change it to purple. So in the fill category, I select from here purple. 
so the color is changed to purple now i want the data labels for over here inside the bars so i click on the plus sign over here and i hover my mouse next to data labels and there you have this right pointing arrow and there i select inside the base now you can see that the figures have come inside the base i would click on home and change the color to white and also make it bold same way for the target i want the figure should be shown on the right so i click on the target and i hover the mouse on data labels and on this right pointing arrow i select right so the figures are shown to the right of the data bar finally i don't want these grid lines so i click on these grid lines over here and i press delete i don't want these chart labels i click over here and i delete and i want to change the chart title to target versus actuals so i type over here the new title that is target versus actuals now let us see if the data is working so i'll just minimize the graph and this is my data so for james you can see that his target was 89 but he has overachieved 100 let us assume that he has underachieved 70 so you can see now the purple axis representing james data is showing that he has underachieved and his target was 89 if i do want these borders for the graph then i just click on the graph right click on it format the chart area and next to border i select no border i'll close this and click outside same way i don't want the grid lines for the sheet so i click outside i click on view and i remove this check mark and we are done with it so friends in this lecture we have seen how to create a very effective target versus actuals graph so with this we end this lecture and we'll see you again in the next lecture till that time goodbye